your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest again directly from my room which is where I spend most of the time because I'm still working from home possibly next week I will go to the lab where I work for my PhD and maybe maybe if I can I will film it I don't know if I can because there's people there it's complicated and I don't want to be intrusive but yeah we're in my home with my owls and my witches and today is the 17th maybe maybe 17th of september so it is the beginning of the third week of the magical readathon that i'm doing so i just wanted to introduce you to the vlog hi vlog hi people <laughs> um i have some clips that i took on thursday evening that i didn't upload in the later vlog so i'm just gonna show them to you and then i will show you my weekend i guess so that is all. I haven't started with Tsubori yet. I haven't started anything yet because I get a kick out of reading books that are not in my TBR for readathons. It's a disease. Okay, so today you're going to be lucky enough to see me wearing a watch, different clothes, and earrings because I am going to the movies with my boyfriend. So, um, I just arrived to the mall. I am in the yellow area which is the area for the last session of the movies which is not really the session that we're going to watch but now with the pandemic situation there is no last session at least for the movies that i've been going to watch so what happens is the movie starts at 10 something and then it only ends after midnight which by that time the shopping is already closed or the mall is already closed, which means that you have to go out through the area of the last session, which would be the midnight session in a normal world, <laughs> which we're not anymore. Um, so yeah, I just arrived. My boyfriend should be arriving in a minute. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you my car whilst he doesn't arrive and just doing content, people. So um, I have with me... A backpack where I have my change of clothes because I'm going to spend the weekend with him and I have my purse which I need for obvious reasons and then I have myself we can do an outfit of the day if you want so there's just a, a normal long sleeve because it's fucking cold and then we have some pants with some anchors and some stuff and we have some sneakers because I'm a normal person um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you my car really quick and then I'm gonna go, ooh, I'm doing allergy to something. Ugh, I hate it. I hate having allergies. If you can relate, like this video. <laughs> okay, shameless plug, but yeah, I'm gonna show you my car and then we're going to leave and I'm going to show you the stairway to heaven, which is what I like to call the way that the movie theater is now in the, this mall because it, it was different but now it has a literal stairway to the ceiling and it's pretty cool so mask on because we are surrounded by cars and people and i'm going to show you my car really quickly say hello to my buggy he's a small small car as you can see very small he fits in tight spaces and i love him he's just so cute say hi buggy because I'm not going around the shopping mall with this, I am just going to put my backpack in the trunk of my car. And see, here it goes. And then I am going to turn this off. Because it's already pretty weird for me to be filming in populated spaces. And people here in Portugal find this a bit weird because we have influencers, but it's not the same as in America and other places. So for them, it's really weird, like, what is that chick doing with her phone? So, I'm not a vlogger today. <laughs> bye bye. Also, just one tiny small detail. I know this shopping like the back of my hand, but just in case I forget, we are in minus one. We are in 
Kappa 2 and we are in the yellow. Fix it that for me. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Monday the 20th I think um, yeah the 20th of September uh, you do you know this street do you remember this street from my second vlog do you well that's because I came back to the car shop why you say um, well it's a funny story um, so what happened is I went for my fifth year revision of the seven year, years of warranty uh, <laughs> and I had a complaint because my car uh, since he came to me since he came to me he always had this noise in the glove compartment um, where it just when the terrain is good it just vibrates crazy when the terrain is bad it it really jumps up and uh, it still vibrates and makes a lot of noise and I have always forgotten and not felt very comfortable uh, to actually tell people that he was doing that noise because I am an anxious pudding and I am always feeling like I am I, I don't know what I'm talking about so when I'm complaining about stuff I'm always like I'm complaining, but I am sure that you, people that I am complaining to, are the ones that are right and not me. Which is a terrible character default, but this is, this is me, I'm trying to improve. Um, and so this year I was like, no more, enough of this shit, I'm going to tell them that the glove compartment makes noise. And so I did. Um, and they were supposed to take care of that in my fifth year revision because they always ask like do you have any complaints? Do you have any reports? Do you need something taken care of since we are already doing this? And I was like, yeah, sure. So there's this thing about the glove compartment um, So funny story is the person in charge of Revising glove compartments, which apparently I had no fucking idea and I still think they were lying to me But whatever there's only one person in the entire stand that can do that um, so that person was on leave because of a sad situation um, with his family, which I'm not going to disclose. His or hers, I don't even know if it's a man or a woman, but whatever. Um, not disclosing it. So, and they couldn't do it in my fifth year revision. However, they didn't phone me to tell me this. They told me this when I went to pick up the car and do the payment, which I think it was pretty bad. And they, they were like, um, you would have to call again to reschedule. And I was like, uh, but is, is it going to take a lot of time? Because I have a car because I need a car. I don't have a car because I just like to say that I have a car. Um, and they were like, oh, we don't know because the time depends if they have to take out the glove compartment, which fair enough, or if they just have to screw something in. Um, so I was like, okay, I will call, uh, but can't I make like the appointment? They were like, just call and make the appointment. And I was like, okay. Um, and so I did call last week. Um, and they were like, okay, can it be Monday at nine, a quarter past nine? And I was like, sure, whatever. Why Monday though? Um, but okay, 
uh, and I was like, so do you know anything about uh, payment and stuff since I had asked for this in my revision? And they were like, it's, it's a, an intervention that they're going to do to the car. So like, are you dumb? Of course, there's going to be payment. And I was like, okay, so, and do you know um, how long it takes to get there? Um, okay, people are staring at me, yay. Um, do, you long, do you know how long it takes to, for it to be done? Because it's like, I have to walk an hour to my house and then another hour back. So if it's, if it's like an hour of intervention, I prefer to be here and to wait. Oh, we don't know because it depends on the, the person that's going to do it. Like if they need parts, if they need to take it off. And I was like, okay, fine. So I came here uh, and I left the car again. So I'm doing the walk of shame again. Um, but yeah, nice start of the week, everyone. The only upside that this has that it allows me to actually breathe sort of because I, I have to wear the mask most of the time now not because there's no one here um, but most of the time I have to wear a mask especially because it's past 9 30 so everyone is working um, which begs the question why the fuck aren't you working I know right um, and it allows me to take a walk um, a two-hour walk and then do my exercise in the evening which means that I get stronger legs. <laughs> but apart from that, there's no upside to this shit. Um, of course, today is sunny, which is better than the last time that I went to leave my car because at that point in time, it wasn't really sunny. It was cloudy and I thought it was going to rain. I don't know if you're even seeing me because the weather is terrible. There's a lot of cars and a lot of people in the cars and instead of talking about their own lives and worrying about their lives are looking at me from their cars with my phone up and just guessing that I am insane for being filming in the middle of the street. But I will update you on some things really fast since I don't have the time to do so when I get home because I want to do my job as a normal person. So updates. Oh my god, there's a bicycle coming and I have to put... no. Okay. I was going to put my mask but he went to the street. So I don't need to do it. There's also an ambulance. I'm sorry for the noise. Okay, so updates. I went and watched Malignant by James Wan um, on Saturday night. I went with my boyfriend. Um, I don't know. I think I've showed you the pancakes that we ate. I really like and am obsessed with pancakes, which if I lived in America and that was my breakfast, I would be like a hundred kilos by now because I just I really love pancakes I don't know I think maybe I was I ate at diners in a previous incarnation or something and that's why I like them so much I don't know but uh, we went to see malignant <coughs> oh, Jesus we went to see malignant and I absolutely enjoyed it I think it was a great movie. If it was the best horror movie I've ever seen in my life, of course not. But there's genres and genres inside of horror. And I love how different directors just make different types of horror and how they can be amazing. And I have to stop because there's someone coming. Yeah. As I was saying, I really enjoyed Malignant. Uh, at the first 15 minutes I was like what the fuck am I watching I even apologized to my boyfriend because it was my idea that we went to see it since I am pretty much obsessed with James Wan's horror movies and I like them all uh, he was the creator of the Saw franchise the Conjuring franchise, the Insidious and so I was like dude yeah I want to go see Malignant, I want to go see what it's about I never watched the trailer uh, so I didn't know what I was going to see and I was like, okay, so uh, at the first 15 minutes were the cheese of the cheese, were like the worst thing I've ever seen, the worst lines, the worst everything. And so uh, I, was, I, I turned to my boyfriend and I was like, I'm so very sorry that we had to come to the cinema and watch this because 
I mean, it was only 7 euros for both of us because we have a discount card, but still, it's 7 euros to watch crap. And after those first 15 sort of minutes, shit went down and was crazy and it was fucking awesome and I have to run because I want to transverse. Oh, we are running. Okay. Awesome. Uh, um, okay. So, I told him that. Uh, and then... Okay, I have to... Okay, and then... It was awesome. It was a homage to Giallo movies. If you've never seen Italian horror old movies before, I highly recommend that you do. Especially Dario Argento. He's like one of the best uh, directors for Giallo movies. And I have watched pretty much all of his movies and I've loved how cheesy and how bad they actually are and how they focus on gore and a lot of stuff. Uh, it's incredible. The premises are wild and frankly sometimes unbelievable. The actors are bad. Um, there's a strange dubbing slash subtitle thing going on. But it's awesome. And Malignant was the same thing. The lines were terrible, but they were completely made on purpose. Um, the vibe of watching an old Italian movie but not being made by an old Italian dude was also there. The gore and you know, the sheer, like, what the fuck am I watching, but I'm loving it sort of situation. So I loved Malignant. My boyfriend loved Malignant. I have to say, I laughed really hard. I also jumped. And I love the action sequences, and I'm not going to tell you anything. If you want to go watch Malignant and you haven't <laughs> fucking spoiled yourself, you should go watch it without knowing anything, because I haven't watched the trailer, I haven't watched anything, and it was the best way to go for me. Um, it was really awesome. Uh, so, you can see the line of traffic forming right there. It's insane how much traffic it's at 9.30 in this fucking place. Insane! Um, so yeah, that was it for reading. Um, it was a 24-hour readathon marathon um, this Saturday and Sunday. And I haven't read shit for the readathon. I have read some more pages of The Liar of the Red Valley. I think this is the name of the book that I am reading. It's a knee arc. I've read more of those pages. I started reading another knee arc called Hetty, which so far is a piece of crap as well. I can't see where that is going. It was supposed to be a horror book. Well, it is horribly written, but it's not a horror book. Um, so this is how we're going, and I, I started Utsubora, which I don't have here. And I'm not going to insert a picture of that. If you want to know what is Utsubora, it's a manga, and uh, it's on my last vlog, which I will live. Um, I started it, I've read 68 pages of it, it has almost 500, so it's a really big manga. Uh, and I like the story so far. I am anxious to know what's going to happen. It's a good old mystery thriller, and yeah, all of the leaves that I love. So, this is going to be my update. I am not going to bring you further into this trip. First of all, you already know the way. Second of all, you're probably tired of me speaking, and I don't want this to be a big vlog. Um, third of all, I'm tired because I'm wearing a mask, and I want to take it off. So I need both hands. So yeah, that's my update so far. Uh, Today I have work to do. I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to try and finish some things. I, I am redrafting a paper to submit to a journal of research uh, for neuropsychology. So I am trying. I wanted it today to be redraft, but since I'm gonna have to come and pick up my car again. Uh, there's going to be another hour lost, so I don't know if I can do the whole redrafting today, but I'm going to try since I've been redrafting it for a while. And then I want to start drafting the introduction for another paper that I'm working on. So I'm working on two papers, 
and I also have a mentorship going on in which I'm helping a colleague submitting a paper so she's waiting for our teacher to give her his signature in some papers in order to proceed with the submission she hasn't told me anything through the weekend so I'm going to try and contact her and see if she needs help submitting if everything's okay uh, and then I'm going to focus on my papers and that's going to be it so it's already been nine minutes of this shit so yeah nice talking to you and please come with me in this walk if you're watching this video do a walk two hours every day and then some exercise because it's gonna be worth it not with your mask on don't scream with your mask on that is not worth it so transversing the zebra walk not dying on the street and i'm signing off goodbye close your eyes get some rest i'm by your side I know you've had a really bad day But I'm right here, it's gonna be okay The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay And I just wanted to show you the place where I leave my car, which is the place where I firmly believe that I will be killed next. Just watch this. This, you can't see it because the phone illuminates it, but I will do it like this. This is extremely dark. Yeah. And there's my car. I have an extreme belief that I will be killed in this garage, so... I don't know if you ever watch P2, it's a horror movie in a shopping mall garage, and yeah, it's terrible. Okay, so we are in the safety of my car, there you go. So you can take the mask off, although, whew, I've been with this mask on for a while now, sorry. Although, I shouldn't be taking this because I will have to get out to pass my card. Um, before I leave. I just want to give you a quick update before I get home. So today is Wednesday the 22nd. Uh, I was at my college working on my PhD with my group, uh, my project group. It's been a ride. I am extremely tired. Now I'm going home. It's 6 p.m. basically. I'm going to get stuck in traffic and I want to arrive before 7.30 p.m. because I will have an online gym class that I really want to do. I also want to eat. I ate a yogurt, but I need more because I'm on, on one of those days that I am feeling that I need some nutrition for my body. Um... So I just wanted to tell you that since Empire of the Vampire by J. Kristoff hasn't arrived yet because it's still stuck at costumes, I know. We must have the worst costume service in the whole wide world, I don't know. But things get stuck two months there. So because of that, I decided that I'm going to read um, The Binding Tempest. I think this is how it's called. I'm going to leave uh, the photo here because it's a knee arc that I had that is reaching the point where it has to be read or else um and it has a map so i would still be able to fulfill the challenge but i think that is like 500 and something pages which is a lot and i don't know if i can do it because we're almost nearing the end but let's hope so so an update 
I am like almost to the middle of a Tsubora. I haven't read a lot. I have been extremely tired. The other day I just, I was working on something and I just started crying out of nowhere, which, um, burning out. Who, me? No, <laughs> you're dreaming. But yeah, it's been very tiresome. I have been with all my emotions. Oh, okay. Now you can see how dark it is in here <laughs> okay car light for a while so i've been with all of my emotions fucked up as i was saying um and yeah i just <sighs> this friday i have stuff to do this thursday i have stuff to do uh, i don't know what i'm going to read but i really wanted to read my mangas there's a lot of comics that i want to read that don't have to do with the readathon i just i wanted a day where i could just read and be in my bed and rest. I know this is horrible because I don't want to be bedridden ever in my life. It's the worst thing in the world. Um, I don't want to be dependent. Um, but I, it's just one day. One day. I don't even ask to watch TV shows, which I can fairly do, sort of. Uh, I watch them with my mom at the end of the day and I watch it with my boyfriend over weekends. Um, but just one day where I could just stay in bed and read and just close my eyes and just rest and hear and see no one. This is what I want. So before any of my professors appear here and see that I'm in my car talking alone, I'm just gonna go and I'm going to turn off the lights so you will see that this is horrifying and a place to get killed in. See? It's terrible. I, I don't even see well enough to get out of this garage. My god. Bye-bye! So welcome again to the room and I just wanted to say that today is Thursday the 22nd, no, the 23rd of September and there's only a little bit left of the readathon, less than a week. So these vlogs are almost up, the readathon is almost up, but I did finish Uchubora, the story of a novelist. I'm pretty sure that I have read this before, but I couldn't remember anything about the plot. And so it was a surprise for me. It was actually pretty emotional. This is a mystery thriller, but it's very calm in a way, and it has to do a lot with reflecting on what it is that you are and what you want to be professionally and personally and it has a lot to do with what a writer truly is and what it means to write for a, an author and because I've always wanted to be one it was kind of emotional <laughs> at the end I loved it, the art book is beautiful and I'm glad that I now have a copy I'm thinking about doing a review for it eventually but one more ticked off for the readathon so the next one that I picked up, and I am already reading it, I am like 50 pages into it, is Haru's Curse by Asoka Konishi, and this is for the challenge of The Mist of Solitude. It's a standalone, it's a biggie, but it's just one. And even though I, I don't like the art style a lot, I really am enjoying the premise of this and I want to see where this is going. It sounds like something that can be emotional and has to do with hard-hitting topics. Um, it's about this woman, her sister dies and she was engaged to be married to this man. Um, but he proposes to the sister that is alive um, that she would go out with him. And she accepts if he goes to all the places he was with her sister when she was alive. And she feels guilty about the situation, of course. Um, so yeah, it's pretty interesting. I am going to read this and then maybe start Witch Hat Atelier. I don't know. So yeah, this was my last update. This vlog is already insanely big compared with the first one, which was like, what, 30 minutes? So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed going to all these places with me. I have been having a busy week um, considering what I was not having for the rest of these pandemic ages um but yeah i hope it was fun for you guys and i hope you're having great reads so that's going to be it for today and happy readings to you all bye